The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. It's 1113 here on this Monday evening, and it is all quiet for us. We're dry, but we have some clouds around. The question becomes, when are these clouds going to produce any sort of rain showers? The answer to that is as soon as tomorrow. We've got a couple of showers south of us towards South Carolina, but the main event, as you just heard, extends from Chicago south towards Dallas. That's where we have a very potent cold front that is producing some really nasty weather as we speak in Missouri. Now, this frontal boundary is going to weaken by the time it gets to us, but it will bring us another chance for some showers isolated in nature as we go later Wednesday night into the day on Thursday. So you heard about it. It bears repetition. We could have some severe weather tonight into tomorrow morning, extending from uh, south of Chicago through St. Louis, south into Texas. Okay, this is the area that has the best chance for wind, hail, and even some tornadoes. Nighttime thunderstorms, nighttime tornadoes are very dangerous. And as we're in November, you got to keep in mind that, uh, especially in our nation's heartland, there's always a little bit of an uptick in November in severe weather before that severe weather goes away as we go into the month of December. Let's talk future cast. And for us tonight, it is going to be rather cloudy, going to have some fog developing, and we could have a couple of showers around as soon as about 6, 7, 8 a.m., mainly in the NRV. A few more showers will be possible later in the day. Uh, not really out some sunshine tomorrow, but for the most part, I'm thinking that we're going to have more clouds and sunshine with the worst weather on Tuesday, Election Day, extending from Michigan south into Mississippi. As we continue to go through time, could still have a few lingering showers into Tuesday night before those rain chances start to diminish as we go into the day on Wednesday. Wednesday's for the most part dry until very late in the day when we may have uh, a few more showers pushing in. Again, late Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday, there's about a 30% chance for a, a little more rain pushing in, but the bulk of that rain looks to actually stay just to the south of us. Want to take you into the tropics. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Raphael. Raphael is uh, right now expected to strengthen into a hurricane before making a landfall uh, along the western part of Cuba, then emerging into the Gulf of Mexico, where it may actually start to fall apart just before making landfall somewhere close to uh, Louisiana as we go into this upcoming weekend. But the northern edge of this rain may start to impact us here Saturday into Sunday. So uh, again, as we have turned the page in November, certainly looks like after an incredibly dry October, we're going to have better chances for rain here off and on over about the next seven to 10 days. It's 52 in Covington, 54 Roanoke, 49 in Lynchburg, 52 in Withville, also into Hillsville and Galax. Want to show you that today was warm and tomorrow is going to be even warmer. Notice that the red color here on this map will be uh, in charge of our weather for about the next four days, meaning that temperatures tomorrow will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s. That orange color turns red on Wednesday and Thursday, which means temperatures are in the middle 70s for us here for two days. Tonight, lows are in the 40s and lower 50s overall tonight. Be careful. We're going to have some fog developing. And tomorrow, highs will hit the 60s and 70s. Hot spot, hot zone will be south side. All right, here we go. Seven day forecast shows temperatures up to 76 on Wednesday and Thursday. 60s return Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Again, we're going to have a couple of showers tomorrow. I think, honestly, probably a better chance for rain late Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday. Lower chances on Friday, and then some tropical moisture could get us here on Saturday and Sunday. Look, we've got a lot going on this weekend. We've got the mm -hmm. Veterans Day Parade. We've mm -hmm. got a huge football game. You may have heard about it. Virginia <coughs> Tech Clemson mm -hmm. going on Saturday. As of now, I would bring the rain gear um, to both of those events. It's not to say it's going to rain all day Saturday. I don't think it will, uh, but certainly some scattered showers look to be in the forecast. Good idea to keep the umbrella handy. Mm. You don't Bring want it to rain on your parade, literally. <laughs> right, but I'm bummed. I mean, you know, plenty of time, but all it takes is one shower to ruin the whole parade. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, depending <laughs> upon the time. That it and the weather's been right? so nice for the Veterans yeah. Day parade. It has, it has, it has, yeah. Hopefully the rain will, will hold off uh, until Sunday. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff.